Welcome, and today we're going to be looking at an airing made by Attics. If you're familiar with other airing designs, you'll see setting up the new Attics airing is rather simple. If you are new to setting up airings, you're in luck, because unlike some older dual lip airings, the setup adjustments of these airings is pretty basic. The model that we're going to be working with today is a 5 inch airing, but adjustments are similar on all of these Attics models. It doesn't really vary much from one size to another. Best practice for these airings is to turn the entire assembly down clockwise until it bottoms out, blocking off virtually all of the air. Then you would turn it up or back it off three quarters of a turn counterclockwise, reestablishing airflow. Let's take a look and watch Jacob do exactly what we just discussed. This bottom part is all the way down. Very, very little air, nothing coming out. Three quarters of a turn, very powerful now. There are other adjustments that you will most likely need to make. The airing blower speed determines the total amount of air available at the airing. You then have what is commonly called the baskets, the cone, or forming ring, or forming cone that can be raised or lowered depending on the bubble size and the bubble thickness. Adjustments that work on thinner gauges will often create stability issues on heavier gauges. The adjustment being made in this clip is normally used to help pull a bubble out into the vacuum or deeper into the vacuum or towards the air ring walls. Bubble size and gauge will determine the best settings for this. So what do we know? Well, first, main blower speed determines the maximum amount of air at the air ring. Second, bottom out the entire assembly and back it out three quarters of a turn for a good starting point. Third, slowly increase rates watching the bubble stability. And fourth, fine tuning needs to be done slowly. The rates and the bubble stability will provide the feedback that you need. Here's a slide that clearly shows the names of the different airing parts. Although airing designs do vary quite a bit, they all have a lot in common. And please remember, just like every other process at Barry, safety is number one. So if you're ever unsure of how to do something or why to do something, you always want to seek advice from a manager. Stay safe and thank you.